established my going. And he hath put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it. Mm -hmm. And fear. And shall trust in the Lord. Let the church say amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. I want to talk with you this morning from a topic. He lifted me. He lifted me. The writer of our text is King David. And King David is saying something that a lot of us could say because we remember more difficult days when our streets were not paved. We remember days when there was mud on a rainy day. If you are from anywhere close to West Virginia, then you can understand David's thinking. David saying that the Lord lifted him up out of a horrible pit. He was in a pit sinking down into miry clay. There was no way to get out. Somebody would have to lift him up. A pit is a deep hole in the earth. Quicksand gradually causes you to go down and uh-huh. sink. Yeah. Quicksand is really not that quick. Not that quick. It's not that quick. Mm-hmm. All right. But it's sure to take you down. Mm-hmm. All right. Quicksand is usually found near the mouth of rivers, possibly waters. Animals and human beings, they don't struggle uh, when caught in quicksand. <laughs> Until they realize that they cannot get out. Then they began to really struggle. Mm -hmm. So that they will not sink completely. When one is caught in a pit, he struggles to get out. But he realizes he's just going deeper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes think, when we were in a pit, we are sinking far down away from God. And we are sinking in sin. Yeah. And we need somebody to help us out. All right. We are in a pit of corruption, mm-hmm. a pit of selfishness, mm-hmm. a pit of jealousy. Mm-hmm. We're in a pit of hatred. Some of us have been in a pit so long mm-hmm. that we almost uh, like where we are. Uh-huh. Right, right. That's why some faces never, ever reflect joy. Uh-huh. Some faces never reflect gladness. Right. They always have a sad look. Mm-hmm. It's because they've been in that so long. Mm-hmm. They call that a normal existence. Right. Jesus, Seems right. to me we're sinking in a land of trouble. One of the verses I pick up from Jeremiah 4 says, O Jerusalem, Wash thy heart from wickedness. Mm-hmm. Why would he say that? He said, because you're sinking in two wicked times. All right. Now, we know the world is changing. The people are changing. We oftentimes, as adults, talk about how children have changed. Mm-hmm. Children are a reflection of our general society. Yeah. All right. Because as society changes, the rules change. Right. And children are a reflection of the rules yeah. uh-huh. of a greater society. Mm-hmm. No longer can we spank our children yeah. right. and allow anybody to know about it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, I remember some of the mothers that uh, were active in the church when I was growing up. They didn't pick and choose who would give you a spank. That's right. They, they, they didn't hurt you. They didn't beat you down. There was no uh, abuse or anything like that, mistreatment. But they would give you a love tap right. just to let you know that you're not supposed to be doing what you're doing. Right. Especially after they ask you to stop. Yeah. That's right. That's right. They would ask you to stop. Uh-huh. 
And boy, if you don't stop that, I'm going to tell your mother on you. Uh -huh. right. Right. And then sometimes the child would look back at the person and uh, stick the lip out. Then they'd give you a little love tap. Mm -hmm. Now you get on away from here and go on upstairs and, you know, sit down where you're supposed to and behave yourself. Yes, sir. But as we get older, uh -huh. and then we break the rules, uh -huh. and we start going down into pits of selfishness, uh -huh. not caring about what anybody else thinks. Right. Every one of you is a member of a family. Uh -huh. And whatever happens to you, it's going to happen to somebody that cares for you. Right. When people love you and you are sinking and going down, there's a strain on their heart. Yeah. Sometimes our parents would worry about us uh -huh. when we were not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand that when people worry about you, it's a strain on their health. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a, some help up in here. Somebody better pray for me. Oh, yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. We're in a sad situation. Sad. Why are we sinking? Uh -huh. We're sinking because we refuse to walk in the way of righteousness. Oh. We're sinking because we're in a sad and helpless, seemingly hopeless condition. Uh -huh. David began sinking when he made advances. Though he had many wives, Jesus. he had made advances to a woman that did not belong to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. David sent for this particular woman. Mm -hmm. And he didn't think he was really, you know, doing too much wrong because there's so much wrong going on around him. Yes, Jesus. And I want you young fellas to pay attention over there now. Yes. Uh -huh. You young fellows pay attention because, you know, God made woman mm -hmm. Jesus. and he made a right. Yes. Uh -huh. I wish I had an amen. 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 Some guys are sitting there, you know, they, they got to say amen because the wife's sitting right beside them. Amen. Yeah, amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. So, so God made woman and God made her right. Yes. Uh -huh. And so when you grow up, you have to understand that uh, there are going to, you're going to meet many beautiful women. Right. Amen. 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 And you're going to learn how to apply the brakes. <laughs> Amen. Because you want to take off and go in that direction. Uh -huh. But you need to have some brakes on the train. All right. Amen. Amen. Y'all know what brakes are? Yes, sir. You look at me like you don't know what brakes are. That's right. I'm looking at you. <laughs> David began sinking. He sent for the woman. He had royal power. Jesus. He had royal command. And this place that he was sinking down in, uh -huh. oh, it was a place that had all the right smells, had all the right flowers, had all the right music, and he had absolute power. Sometimes when you have absolute power, you are ready to fall down absolutely. That's why it pays to have somebody in charge of you. When you're young, your parents are in charge. All right. As you become an adult, you have to have God in charge. Yes, I wish I had an amen somewhere. Amen. 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 Now your car will not run without gasoline. Mm -hmm. A watch, old-fashioned watch, would not run without winding. Flowers won't grow without sunshine and water. Uh -huh. So there has to be something that you have feeding you mm -hmm. to keep you on the right page of the book. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When you go to school, you go to school, you won't get your lesson in study mm -hmm. just because you love education. Yeah. Right. But somebody is going to flunk you. Mm -hmm. Do they still use that word? Yes, yeah, is it possible yeah. to flunk anymore? Oh, yeah. that, that's an old fashioned word. Yeah. You're going to flunk out. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they don't even flunk you out anymore. That's right. They don't flunk you anymore. They just socially 
promote you. Because you're getting too big for the seat. They just move you along. Can man's money stop him from sinking? No. You can lose money very easily. Can his friends stop him from sinking? No. Because friends have been known to walk away from him. Can a good life stop you from sinking? No. Everyone you know has sinned. We're sinking because of the lack of victory in our lives yeah. over sin. Yeah. Right. Sin is our downfall mm -hmm. right. because we are in flesh. Right. We are made in flesh. Mm -hmm. right. And we are made in sin, conceived in sin. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Now, God said man shall not live by bread alone. Right. It means that man is a spiritual being. He has a body, but he's not just physical. He has a mind, but he's not just mental. Man is a spirit being. For God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And he became a living soul. Living soul is in need of spiritual things. He has a tremendous spiritual capacity, which God alone can feel and can satisfy. In this world of material things, where man is ever in search of things such as bread and wealth, uh -huh. houses and lands, stocks and bonds. When you are seeking these things only, mm -hmm. you are sinking far away from God. Yeah, right. God will give you the desires of your heart if, a way, if your ways please him. God says, I will give you the desires of your heart. Man is endlessly searching for happiness, mm -hmm. for his material urges. But there's also a spiritual urge, mm -hmm. which no bread, no money, no stocks or bonds can satisfy. Yeah. No material things can satisfy. Mm -hmm. But out of the depths of his being, his spiritual nature, nature is expressing itself. God is the only one who can lift us up out of this horrible pit. Now we're sinking. We're sinking. Yeah. How are we sinking? We're sinking when our churches lose the power yeah. that it's supposed to have. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm going to say that again. We are sinking when our churches lose the power it's supposed to have. Right. We're sinking because our Sunday school is down and we use the excuse that the Sunday school is for children. Mothers don't send their children to Sunday school. The old-fashioned mother would send the children even if she had to come late. You had to get out of here. Get out the house. She would get up early and make sure you had something to eat. But even now, we don't have children in Sunday school. We're sinking in our night service. Yeah. Nobody has night service anymore because there's too much sin walking the streets yeah. when it gets dark at night. Mm -hmm. It's dark in our land and it's dark in our hearts. On, it's dark in our spirit. Yeah. On, I wish I had some help with it. Yeah. We're sinking. We're sinking yeah. because nobody's coming out to church like they should. Yeah. Spiritual lives are like planes. They're crashing all around us. Yeah. Yeah. Many are standing around helpless with no plan to get better. Yeah. No strategy, no spiritual preparation to reach the lost world and a dying world. Yeah. It is a frightening situation. All you have to do is you look at these empty pews on the day close to the holiday. Uh, Everybody's gone Jesus. and they are yeah. trying to feel better. Uh -huh. I said trying. I know. They try. Yeah. Amen. And when their little trick don't work, mm -hmm. they'll try their buddy's trick. Yeah. Trying to feel better. All right. Oh, I'm going to let that go. Right. No material things can satisfy. Mm -hmm. God is the only one. Now, we are sinking because and thinking that there's nothing that we can do. But there's something God can do. Mm -hmm. As long as you look up to God and turn to God, God will lift you up. Mm -hmm. 
So people ask me sometimes, is the world is a better place, don't you think, Rev? It's better than it used to be. Because we have better jobs now. Yeah. We have better access to monies and mm -hmm. houses and neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. We have access to better schools. Jesus. But I can look out upon the world today and say that we are still just as evil now as we always have been. Yes, Amen. 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 Nobody in here knows what evil is anymore. Jesus. You don't know what evil is because when we talk about uh, abomination. Ah. Abomination used to mean something God awful. Mm -hmm. But now so many things that's mentioned in the Bible, yeah. and I gotta yeah. say this, and I say it over and over and over again. Go ahead. We talk about homosexuality, oh, yeah, sir. about going to the preacher to get married yeah. and being of the same sex. Uh -huh. But I say to you that in the Bible it says that you're not to seek the same sex. Amen. You're supposed to seek the other gender. Yes. I, I, I want you to know, I want you to know, don't ever stop and think that's the only thing in the Bible that's an abomination. Amen. And I'm not going to give you the cheat sheet to the test. Go look it up. There's a lot of things that are an abomination mm -hmm. unto God. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. ah. mm. oh, People say, well, Rev, uh, why are you feeling like you feel? Do you think that the world is not getting better? Well, some places it's getting better because when mothers teach their children about the Savior of the world, yeah. they have to teach their child that there's evil that's going to take them over mm -hmm. unless they continue to wash themselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You think more of your clothes than you do of your soul. Oh, my right. God. Oh, yeah. You think there's something wrong with a family when their family members walk out with spots all over their clothes. Jesus. What's wrong with them? Mm -hmm. They don't wash their clothes. But we think nothing of somebody who's yeah. doing evil things. Mm -hmm. right. Their soul is full of spots yes, and wrinkles. Yes, yes, the book of Revelation tells me that you got to have a, a clean appearance mm -hmm. when we come before the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he said you won't even get by him without uh, spots and wrinkles. That, that's got to come out. I remember Grandma, you would take a hot iron and lay it down on the ironing board and she would push that iron to get out the wrinkles. Yeah. The clothes are clean. Yeah. Yeah. They've been washed. Mm -hmm. They've been rinsed. Mm -hmm. But it's still got some wrinkles. Got right. Amen. So you got to iron the wrinkles out. The only thing that's going to help your soul mm -hmm. is the hot pressing of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. It's going to help get the iron, uh, you know, and, and, and get those wrinkles out of your out of your spiritual being. All right. yeah. Yes, sir. You need to look at somebody and ask them, are you wrinkled? Oh, are you wrinkled? Yes, sir. Are you wrinkled? I don't care. I don't care how long you've been worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sin is all around us. Yes, sir. And we come in contact with it every day. Yeah. And if you don't know how to get uh, right with God yes, sir. every day, you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. Yes, so you have to keep yourself on your knees yes, and ask God to stay with you. Yes, now, I, I, I'm going somewhere. Just stay with me just a few yes, more minutes. Yes, Go right ahead, Jesus said the wages of sin is death. Right. And the soul that sinneth, it shall, shall die. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. We're down in a pit of sin. Yeah. We talk to sin. We sleep with sin. Jesus. We walk with sin. Yeah. Yeah. We eat with sin. Mm -hmm. We look at sin. We buy sin. Yeah. Yeah. We play with sin. Mm -hmm. We lay with sin. We save up sin. Ah. We destroy one another for sin. Mm -hmm. We'll die for sin. 
will live for sin, lie for sin, scheme for sin, will kill for sin, and will go to hell for sin. Oh, I wish I had some help. Yes, sir. We're down in a horrible pit. Only God can lift us out. Don't you know? It's true. Some people will say, I'm not a Christian and I've never joined the church, but I've never harmed anybody. And somebody will say, I try to treat everybody right. Somebody will say, I pay my bills on time. Somebody else will say, I give to a good cause. Somebody else will say, I'm a good fella. After all, I'm pretty good. I think pretty positively about myself. But all you have to do when you do a comparative analysis yeah. is compare you to the man on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. One who came from holiness, yeah. wrapped himself in flesh, yeah. began to walk among sin, Jesus. and he became sin. Jesus. Oh, I wish I had some. Go ahead, preacher. Are we listening? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to have to preach this at another church. Y'all get nervous, ain't you? You have to understand that you, 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 you compare yourself to Jesus, you're going to look at a person and they're going to come up short because they think Jesus is just a theoretical concept. But Jesus is real. His power is real. His presence is real. His life is real. To live for him is real. His love for you and me is real. How could you love somebody who won't do right? Never will do right. And the love don't turn off. God's love is so great that you can't get around it. You can't get over it. You can't go under it. You gotta come through the door. Jesus said, I am the door. Yes, he did. You know, can't get into heaven without coming to Jesus. Wish I had somebody. Jesus has been with us for a long time. But I can let you know when I was down, he lifted me. I, I ought to have a witness in here. Yes, when I was lost, yeah. he saved me. Yeah. I was sinking deep in sin, yeah. far from the peaceful shore, uh -huh. very deeply stained within. Yeah. I was sinking to rise no more. Well, yeah. But the master of the sea, yeah. he heard my despairing cry. Yeah. From the water, he lifted me. Yeah. Now safe am I. Brothers and sisters, I need to tell you before I close that God is a saver. He is a helper. He is a redeemer. He is a lifter. Have you ever been down, church, and you felt somebody lifting you? Have you ever faced circumstances that nobody could pull you through? Have you ever faced a condition that everybody said you'd never come out of? I've been down, all down to the ground. But somehow, I always knew if I could crawl my way back home, if I could crawl down the aisle of the church, I could touch the hem of his garment. I'd get some power that the world cannot give. Yeah. He still lifted. 
in me right now. Sometimes when I'm preaching the gospel, I can hear the old devil saying, you need to go somewhere and sit down. They ain't paying no attention to you, no how. But I can feel a little tug of the Holy Ghost saying, fight on, brother. Fight on, brother. Fight on. Leave this with you. 